Hello, I'm Ian Clayton, and we're back again with another deep thought in the series of videos on SEO and keywords research. In this session, I want to talk a bit more about finding the right keyword that will bring you new business, even when your products and services are not on the map. And I mean by that, that it is not in the customer's mindset. And in this case, your favorite words will fail. This video is about what to do when words fail you. Let's take the case of a client who is in the vacation submarine excursion business. The problem is that the submarines are not on vacationers' minds. And while they have aced the submarine search results, it's only a fraction of their potential market. And that's because those who might love a submarine cruise and undersea voyage are not necessarily looking for a submarine. In fact, many don't even know that such a thing exists. They are people who might be interested in and therefore looking for glass bottom boats, snorkeling, diving, fish, ocean, sea, marine life, coral, water sports, family vacations and adventures, and particularly some who don't want to get wet, but would love to see what's at the bottom of the ocean from a submarine. So, if you look at optimizing the word submarine, you would not be seen by those who don't know about sub adventures and go looking for things they do know. And that is the majority of your market. Now, if you start to optimize your web website for all of those other words, it's going to look a little bit fishy, at least to the search engines, right? You can't just pretend that you are a glass bottom boat, for example, it's not on, it's not authentic and you won't want to do that. Well, there are a couple of ways around this and that's what we're going to show you in just a moment. But first, let's be clear about the problem. You have a website for a product or service that is not got a big search volume for the main keywords that describe your business. Of course, your site is optimized for just that. Now, you know that it has a much bigger market and you know that the people who like your service are interested in other stuff and you would like to get some of that traffic coming to your site. People are not looking so much for submarine adventures or submarine cruises or safaris, not in big numbers, and uh, many more are looking for other words like snorkeling and related activities. Now, in conventional SEO, we might build resonance with your site for those other keywords. But in this case, it's not going to be great because the site is not about scuba diving or snorkeling or glass bottom boats. So what do we do? Well, option one, you create another site for those words that point to your site. That used to be uh, a great option and it's still valid, but it's not going to be easy to build up that site and get it ranked so that it comes to the top of Google. Option number two, a dedicated page. You build a page on your site that focuses on all the best snorkeling and dive areas. Now that offers value to guests and at the same time if they land on the page they will see your product. Now this would be easier to rank especially if your site already has some authority. But now you need to compete with sites that have huge content. You'll need to do something different. You'll have to build that position up over time by putting just more good content and blogs and that sort of thing on your site. So you get a picture. It is quite a bit of work. Option three, content marketing. You can ignore the fact that you don't resonate for words uh, potential clients are searching and instead build blogs, articles and videos that will. This works if you do it right and create a network, a press buzz and promotions all around it. You need to join forums and make comments on relevant and high quality sites, adding links back to your site and to your social network. It's very critical that you diversify your links to your network. Keep tuned for our next series on link strategy, video and uh, content marketing, where we cover this subject in depth. Number four, advertising being where your market is. You can advertise with keywords, pay, pay per click keywords or pay per view keywords on sites like Google and Facebook. Google will allow you to put your advertisement on the page, the first page of results for keywords like snorkeling. And you pay for that. You pay per click and it may cost $2 a click. It all depends on the competition, who you're competing against. You can pay as much as $40 a click. Now, the search engines like Google really want us to advertise and not to build up our position on what they call the organic search results. And they are making moves to make this happen. But advertising is really a short-term solution. As soon as you stop paying, you are off the search results. So it's not an alternative strategy. You need to be on organic search results for long-term sustainability. 
and you will need to advertise at times. Look for opportunities to advertise in your local market with local suppliers of related and complementary activities. Our submarine tours might tie in with glass bottom boats and pirate ships, offering them a referral commission to recommend a submarine trip and hand out flyers. And lastly, option number five, why not do it all? This is really the best strategy, get noticed as fast as possible and with lasting effect. Now, to implement strategy, you can check out my video at Tourism Marketing Machines. There's quite a number of videos in there that will help. And also read my book. It's being published and its uh, preview is available. And I'm also looking for input on covers and titles and subjects. And the best, the best input and the suggestions will receive a free Kindle version of the final book. So register and I will love to hear your thought. You have a special problem, let me know because I just might solve it for you. This video is one of many free videos on uh, hotel and tourism marketing, which you can find at tourismmarketingmachines.com, tourismmarketingmachines, all one word, dot com. I'm Ian R. Clayton, author and publisher of Travelers Insights magazine and the book, How to Build Your Business Online. I am working on three projects right now. One is to publish with Apple's Magcast. So I'm also just about to publish another book, which is Marketing Hotels and Tourism Online. And then a, uh, a fun book called Rogues in Paradise. Thank you for watching this video. I look forward to helping you in the future and hearing your comments. Thanks again, and bye for now.